Hi, my name is Kenneth Apiakubi, and this is Faith Support. It was a beautiful Friday morning, and these kids who were excited for their birthday got a call from their father. The father spoke to the first child, says, what do you want for your birthday? He was so excited and he said, Dad, I know you would give me anything I ask. So he said, I just won $40. Dad said, no problem. I'll give that to you. He turned the phone over to the other kid and the dad asked him, hey, so what do you want for your birthday? You know, your brother said this. He said, Dad, I know you have a lot of money, so I'll just ask you for $400. Dad said, no problem, I'll give that to you. And, you know, the dad said, give the phone to your younger sister. And the younger sister was so curious to see the question that the dad will ask her. So the dad said, hey, little girl, what do you want for your birthday? The daughter said, Dad, I know you've asked all my siblings what they want and they asked you something very interesting, but I know you and I know what you have. So I would say, give me everything that belongs to you. The dad was like, why would you ask me such a request? This is too big. And the kid said, dad, because I know you and I know what you have. The question I would like to ask you is, do you know your father? I mean, do you know our father in heaven? Some of us go before God and we tend to ask him things that we are often not so sure if we actually need them. Or we ask him of things that may not even be as big as God require us to ask him. But God is always willing to listen to us. And he's always willing to give us what we actually need. And so he gives us a beautiful reminder of who he is as our father. And so he says in the book of Ephesians, chapter three, verse 20 and 21, it reads, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. This is a beautiful text that always reminds me that I serve a God who has so much power, who, who is so much always willing, and in fact, He is beyond able. I will put it simply, that God is beyond able. The text is very clear that our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we even ask or think. So sometimes I remember when I was asking God to actually help me to be healed from a sickness. Not only did God heal me from a sickness, but he also healed me from a sickness to the point that the healing became a testimony and the testimony changed somebody's life to know that God is indeed beyond able. And so I would like to introduce this God to you. This God who has power to even resurrect the dead. This God who is able to feed the multitude. This God who is able to care for the orphan and the widow. He says, he is able to take care of your problems. Only if you would trust and have faith that this God is able and above what he can do. So I wanna pray with you and I wanna invite you to be bold, 
to have faith and to approach God like a father who is able to do all things, even beyond able. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us that you are beyond able and that you can actually change and do greater things in our lives. So Lord, you know what we need. You know what we want. I pray, Father, that you will help us to have faith in you that when we ask you of anything, you are able and you can do all things when we trust and believe in you. For we pray in Jesus' name.